Yeah, so we were talking about the term guest, and that's something new for me in terms of the culture. Um, and like I said, I, I never discussed with any of the lockers about uh, race or politics. It never came up, except for when I talked to Shabadu. So when there was a riff in, in the culture and division and terms like guest and, and, and Black Lives Matter probably really enhanced that situation in terms of the street dance world. You know, it was a very sensitive subject. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the people that, uh, like Lockin' for Life, uh, people were attacking this, this organization that is a great organization and, and they've really helped we put Locking on the map. Mm. And, you know, it was one of those things where some of the uh, leaders uh, or people that founded that uh, group wanted me to speak out. And uh, I immediately went to Shab and talked okay. to him about it. And, he, and Shab was like, well, what do you think? And I said, I don't know if it's my place. He goes, it's not your place. Mm. It's my place. It's the locker's place. He says, everybody wants to talk. But let the lockers talk. Mm. And when I say the lockers, the original Fluky, Penguin, Bray, you know, Don, Shabadoo, Shabadoo, Scooby Doo, Penguin, Scooby Doo could be one of those persons who would have been original locker if an event hadn't happened, but he was there. And okay. He was definitely good enough to be in the lockers, it just didn't happen. But uh, Slim the Robot, those are the people that uh, Tony Basil, I would say, has that right. So I didn't feel it was my place to speak out about it. I have my opinions about it, but they're just opinions, you know. I I just feel that, and I've always said this, is that I wish it was like a fraternity of friends that were going to get along, but this competition thing, something else, we're just not going to do it. I've been hanging out for 40 years in this this industry and this culture, and uh, there's always going to be some kind of rip and division. The crazy yeah. thing is you've got some very young people who are really green that are making a lot of noise. And it's not their place. Mm. I've been doing this 40 years and it's not my place. Mm -hmm. and, and, and talk to Shabadoo. He got some things to say about that. And he should because you know, the lockers really set it up. They changed the face of dance. So in terms of me commenting, I try not to comment too much. But I think we should all just get along. And We've I think always so, gotten along to tell you the truth to a certain degree. Yeah. I think because people don't feel they got their just due, there's a way to make noise. And the way to make noise is to get out. If you can get out, you'll be respected. That's it. And if you're a good person, you'll be respected. So, you know, help people. I think the, the, the old head should talk nice to the young people and put them up and not put them down. That's the, that's the key right there. And, and if the old heads have earned respect, I think young people should give it to them. You know, I... I don't know where my place is in this culture. It's not my decision to put that. I, I remember, I think we should all try to be so confident and good at what we do that we're humble. Mm. Yes. And I remember uh, calling Pop and Pete a legend. And he's really uncomfortable with that term. Mm. And uh, he was like, well, you know, we all push this thing for us like no wait a minute man you don't you don't get to decide this we do mm. you are a legend to me it's this this is not your decision the lockers are a legend not their decision they just are so it was amazing to see somebody at his level and what he's done for this dance blue collar everybody looks at Pete like he's uh privileged in terms of five star hotels and yeah. first class no man this guy had been broke, he'd been getting ripped off. Jeff Kutash was in pain and probably was. Sam actually said, I'm not gonna work for these people. They're not taking care of me like they should. And Pete was like, I gotta see this out. You know, you look at somebody like Flattop, who got in a, in a mm. situation recently, and his body has really labored over this dance. You know, I'm spoiled, man. I was hanging out with people who were doing this in the entertainment business. And Flattop, body has really this dance has taken its toll. Respect that dude. Because a lot of the stuff you knew Cats do, he was the one doing it, man. Mm. He could limbo to his flat top touch ground. Like, he could split. Before any of the, like, contortion is nothing new in this. You know, flips and power moves, those are nothing new. 
Mm -hmm. People dump it, join it. That's nothing new. And there are cats doing it before you. I'm not going to tell you respect, but do your research. You know, and come at these guys when they're in their prime. Don't come at them when they're 50, 60 years old. You know, because they can still get down. But it's just kind of disrespectful, man. It's, just it's disrespectful people. and it's basically, it's like you're cheating. Yeah, you ain't going to come at Flat Top when he's in his prime, man. He's going to yeah. do that thing. It's and like if somebody said they want to play Jordan right now. Exactly. Nah, bro, you should have played him in, like... When he was getting six and rings. Still probably trouble, you know, like yeah. all these guys are, you know. I remember one time, man. I don't know the guy's name, but he was talking trash about Boogaloo Sam. Mm, Sam. He was. He was approaching 60 at the time. And Pete said, What? And Pete's my age, you know, me and Pete. Yeah. You know, I'm 58. And he's approaching 59. Yeah, I think he's 59. This is about 10 years ago, so he's in his 50s. Went in on him and mm. it was incredible to see him with them 16 year old legs, man. He can do that thing on the ground, man. And there's two things you don't talk about to Pete, and that's Skeeter Rabbit. You get emotional thinking about that name, and 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 Boogie Sam, man. Mm -hmm. Another legend, another hero. So, young generation, respect the people who open those doors, man. A lot of you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for cats like that. And old heads, let's try not to get so offended because people are doing things different or they agree apart from how we think or believe. Yeah. And and and, and bring this generation up. They'll respect you more. I guarantee it. Show you them love and, and bees with honey. You know what my mom used to say. They'll that, never that forget you though, bro. They will never forget you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People still bring me up from 20 years ago. Mikey, the first time you see me, bro, like, I remember when you showed me how to, like, you know, put myself into a freeze. And this is, like, 20, 25 years ago, though, bro. And, like, they still respect me, though, bro. I think we got to answer to God, all of us, you know? And it's yeah. our job to be nice with people and love people, man. I wish we would all get along. It's probably not going to happen, but... <laughs> You know, you can dislike me or hate me for the things that I say, but I'm going to love you anyways. And I think I'm going to end this interview with that. Yeah. Love, peace, and soul. Okay, so um, right before we go, yeah, like, you want to give a shout out? Um, shout out to anybody before we go. That's how we usually do it in the dance world. We All shout the Jacksons, uh, James Brown, um, Stevie Wonder, all my musical influences, um, all my teachers, educators, lockers, the Boogaloos. You know, all, all the cats in the valley. I love everybody. And, and, and some of you new jacks, man, who inspire me and keep me going. Uh, my students. Um, Y'all mean a lot to me, man, that I'm still here and I still have a lot to learn and, and, and I'm enjoying dance. And uh, how, thank you for helping me find creative ways to uh, keep doing it. Beat Slayer and B-Boy Wicked, I love you, man. Um, the Soul Source crew, the people that uh, rejuvenated the, the soul in my dance, man. Uh, open house, you know. Oh yeah, especially open so house. Much love for you guys. Um, and that's it, man. Let's keep it going. All right, keep peace. Thank you.